Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I will show me, I will show me my purpose. Give me the assignment, put me in alignment. My heart is a scroll. I open it, take your name and come sign it. I believe I'm so lost. How we worship a cross with the children of Zion. I will strengthen my son. I will cover the Zion. Remember me. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Hope y'all doing well. It's your brother Zamar. I'm in the building again with another chop it up talk. Um. It's going to be somewhat similar to the last one I did, but a little different. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all been doing well. Thank y'all for tapping into the last few videos that I've uploaded. Um, if you haven't listened to the last meditation that I did with my brother Hanuk, um, my brother Hasafar, um, tap in with him. Um, tap in with him. We did it. It's called Righteous Budding. It was something I thoroughly enjoyed doing. Um, a lot of that stuff is in the moment. We came up with it and it was, you know, it led us through the Ruach to be able to bring forth that, that produce, that fruit. So hopefully it's been blessing y'all. I thank y'all again for your encouraging comments on the videos, your prayers, anything you've done to invest into the well being of me and anybody else that's been impactful to me will be impactful to me. I'm thankful and I'm grateful for that. Um, towards you so um may Yahuwah continue to baruch you may he continue to bless you and bless everybody that listened to this video i pray that i'm able to say something that's able to influence or um invoke in you because essentially i'm not doing these videos to do a teaching that's not my intent my intent is not to do a teaching though some things may come out that you may learn my intention is simply number one first and foremost is to invoke young men to see the value of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to see the value of counsel, to see the value of having gratitude, whatever you're able to get from this that produces in you the mindset to grow, um, to be better. Um, there's always something that we can be better in and you will learn that via through consequences of actions that you decided to make. You will learn that sometime through seeing other people um, with certain things, he was like, man, I could have had that. I could have had this. But that spirit of gratitude will also cause you to gain understanding. So with all your getting, get understanding. Um, and being grateful, you know, simply because of what Yahuwah, what he is to us, what he's been to us, what he's done for us and through us and through other people has touched us. Um, I also want to do this. I want to give a major shout out to my chiefs. Malek Musha, Malek Yahusha. Truthfully grateful for these men. Um, you won't know the depth of where I'm coming from if you haven't really been able to establish the type of relationship that I have with these men, but they are great examples. They really have a heart for Yahuwah's work. Um, I am a, a, a manifestation of their work. A lot of people always compliment the aspect of me being young, having wisdom, and I love it. I love wisdom. I have a sincere desire for it, but it's a, it's a great, um, equate equation of what my elders have invested into me and the level of 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 work that they have put in you know me just paying attention to their work i just want to say thank you to them shout out to them and shout out to everybody else that's out there and then i also want to encourage you um even if you're not where i'm at um specifically as a body um if you have elders you need to have a counselor one counselor out of a thousand you know what i'm saying you need to make sure that you learn the value and the gold and submission to your leader. Um, that has, that's just, this is ancient thought that's gonna help you throughout your life. Um, this principle is not just even in a Ruaco sense, this principle is even if you go to work, you go to a job, learning how to be respectful, be honorable, be formidable in the way that you do things, it's gonna help you to enhance whatever you are a part of. And in that, the value of those that you who have put before you, you're going to be able to see on a greater level and it's going to invoke you to do the right things. And not only that, it's going to follow you because the principle of reaping what you sow is so real and so deep. Like you can't get past that principle. The essence of it is always going to follow you no matter what. I know on this last video, I talked about knowing yourself and knowing your enemy. Very important. 
Um, again, like the scriptures say, what are you getting? Get understanding, bro. Um, get understanding. It's a scripture, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 18. Every purpose is established by counsel. Um, even bringing up the aspect of us having a counselor. Like, I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for who they are, what they do. Um, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And so we're talking about war. Something that I've been heavily thinking about is the war within. You know, a lot of times when we think about the war without, we always want to be macho. Like, ah, especially young brothers. We see we see people we mugging, we hard, tough with each other. But it's that thing up in here that makes the best warriors. If you learn how to conquer this, you learn how to envision yourself at a certain level here and here, then you put yourself in a position where you can't be compromised by the enemy because you didn't know his tactics. Um, it's a part in this book that I had quoted. Um, and it's the book, The Art of War, right? By Sun Tzu. Um, and check this out. It says, how victory may be produced for them out of the enemy's own tactics. That is what the multitude cannot comprehend. All men can see the tactics whereby I conquer. But what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Do not repeat the tactics which have gained you one victory, but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances. So infinite, going back to the aspect of it being immeasurable. So this immeasurable variety of circumstances, meaning in all way forms and facets, you got to know how to respond to the situation. Military tactics are like unto water, for water is its natural course, in its natural course, run away from high places to hasten downward. It says, so in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and to strike at what is weak. This principle is so real. Again, I'm not saying that this is a, this is fallible. You know what I'm saying? This is limited. This is limited information. I do want to make that clear. I'm not saying that this is Yahuwah's word. But what I am saying is the principle in it can give you a lot of wisdom and knowing how to apply it. So me hearing this, I could take this perspective right here and say, you know what? So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and to strike at what is weak. If I am the victim in this, where would Hasatan use this principle? Self-explanatory. But the, but the essence of it is, I feel like sometimes as young men, we just live, we just go, we don't think, we don't put two and two together. This is an overall principle that can be used physically, spiritually, mentally, verbally, however you want to do it, emotionally. In war, they're going to strike at what's weak. Even if you go at the strongest thing, you're going to go for the weakest part of the strongest thing to attack the rest of the weak things. You see what I'm saying? So it's the principle. Water is shaped in its course according to the nature of the ground which it flows. Right? The soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. You got to know how to adjust. Adjust. Man, if you're struggling, like a lot of young men struggle with masturbation, struggle with, you know, the lust of their flesh when it comes down to women, coming down to the other sex. You can't control um, what you're watching, what you're doing. Bro, got to understand that the enemy is going to adjust. We're in a position where there's nothing different with the state that we're in because uh, 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 a distracted enemy is a defeated enemy. At the end of the day, if you got your enemy distracted and you get in your overall course and cause completed, you win it. So we're not in a different position than we was in when we first got to these places where we were scattered abroad as a people. We're not in a different place. <laughs> Therefore, just as water retains no constant shape, so in warfare, there are no constant conditions. So you can't be looking for similar ground. That's why I'm saying principle. Take the wisdom, take the wisdom out of the principles of this. This fallible, fallible, fallible. This could be limited. Some of these aspects of wisdom won't apply in everything, but it's the aspect of taking the essence of it. It's like, okay, I see how I can utilize this. I see how the enemy can utilize that on me. You feel me? We got to get this thing together. Strengthen that mind, strengthen that brain up, man. Don't be so docile when it comes to your enemy. He who can modify his tactics in relation to his opponent and thereby succeed in winning may be called a heaven-born captain. 
You see what I'm saying? So the, the heaven born captain, again, is this right here. Like it says, Proverbs 24, 6. For by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war. And in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Yahuwah, number one, is the is a lure that, that teaches counsel. He gives counsel. He has a counsel. He has 24 elders that sit around his throne. What does that tell you? The essence of that should tell you the beauty of Yahuwah's holiness, number one, because now through us being able to have something like Proverbs 24, 6, Proverbs 20, 18, and thinking about the dynamic of knowing how to war within, he's given us counsel through this word. Yahuwah has given us counsel through this. This is counsel. You got counsel through your, your the wisdom of your elders. That's why I say, man, value your elders, value your leaders, value those who pour into you. Um, I encourage you to um, seek that out. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, a noble people is an honorable people. A noble people is a people that know how to um, value those who you who has put before them. So um, again, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Encourage y'all to. Keep pursuing. If you mess up, get back up, bro. Um, you can do it. Ah, tap in with your brother. Let's keep building. I love y'all. I'm thankful for y'all. May your hood continue to Baruch you. Um, and stay in alignment, man. Know yourself, know your enemy, and continue to be grateful and having everybody Kako Desi leading got you in all truth. Hallelujah.